This is Pasa Tiempo. Well, we got a chilly start this morning, but the breeze is down. It's really not bad. It's a five to 10 forecast to get up to about 55. And we're at Pasa Tiempo. Alistair McKenzie actually lived here at the late stages of his life, they say. Number six, so we'll see that in a little bit. But this course looks extremely challenging. And McKenzie also uh, designed Augusta National, which is Fairly famous course. Well, there's no messing around here, it's straight to it. First hole. Really big first green here. Check out this, these fairway bunkers, or these greenside bunkers. Look at this green, crazy. Wow, absolutely beautiful right here. You can see this hole right here, that's supposed to be just as hard as number five, Pine Valley, 230 uphill. Wow, this is really cool. About as intimidating as you want to get right here. Wow, this is one really, really tough. It's playing about 170 from where we were at today. Nice boy. Nice. That looks absolutely splendido. Wow, incredible. I think I hit him out. These trees are really cool. This is uh, fairly interesting right here.
sure the camera's not going to do justice to this, but check out the severity of this green. <laughs> it is very sloping. It's like a bowl. Hit it to the right, it'll come back. Hit it to the left, it'll come back. Hit it too short, and it'll come back. So, wow. I ended up just up over the ridge here. So, I actually hit a decent shot, even though I flared it quite a bit. Yeah, this is a very interesting green. What was that? Ooh, side door. Excellent putt. Let's frame it here. This is amazing. Except, where do we go from here? Well, I found a uh, myself in another bad position here, getting really frustrated at this. Cool hole. Just not played the way it was designed. That is really, really undulating going up there. Some really severe bunkers. Coming up short, visually just really intimidating. Ah, these greens are just amazing here. That's gorgeous. Number one handicap hole, right here. And they restored this green. Really cool hole. Number one handicap, you've got a big gully over on that side. You come up here, bunch of mounds, bunch of bunkers. It's all uphill. I somehow was able to uh, knock one on one from 194. Shot of the day right there. Yeah. cool downhill hole. And we get up here. You can see just another intimidating golf, golf hole right here. I had a nice one in there.
I think that thing might come back. I'm not sure. Hit it decent, a little toey. So far it's sticking, we'll see. All right, little eagle putt coming up. Well, the scoring is not exactly as good as what I would be hoping for. I'm just really struggling with hitting the ball right. I think I'm just coming out of my shot, spinning out. So, but this is a great golf course, a good classic design. So we're making the most of it. Good times. Really cool. Look at this. Oh, you take it down. Is this a five? Yeah, this is a five five. That's uh, pretty severe right there. I just kind of stuck my club down on it and it popped out. All right, hole 15. Got about uh, 129 here. It's chilly, but I don't want to put another jacket on. Oh my word. That's no joke right there, ladies and gentlemen. I've, I've never seen anything like that, ever. <laughs> oh. Such a stupid shot. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a green this severe. Maybe it's more severe than what it actually, or it appears more severe than what it actually is. I'm not sure, but anyway, you look at it. I had a bad shot. Goodness. Such a bad shot. But, uh, hey. What are you gonna do? Insane. So, this is what we got going on right here, okay? I have no clue how to go about this. The most severe, big, undulating, crazy. Here you can see if I put the camera down. And that's just the, that's just the beginning of it. <laughs> Maybe the best book. Wow, he's fixed. <laughs> All right, here we are. Going up 17. All right, we're on hole 17, and uh, it's kind of chilly. I actually should be wearing another jacket, another layer. I just don't want to have that one extra layer on. So let me tell you, this course is not flat. And it's a par 70. What is it, 6,100 yards from the white tees? And I think the guy was telling me that probably plays around 6,600 yards. And uh, with the cool temperatures and the wind and the slope, it's tough. That's where we came up from. And uh, that's where we're going. I hammered it up here. Uh-huh. I ended up here. Got a nice little look right there.
All right, I don't know where I'm at, but uh, it looked like I was, looks like I had potential. All right, one last hurrah. We end on a part three. All right, that's where the tee box was, back there, in this deep ravine. And as you can see, the green was, again, big false front. We did it. Pasatiempo in the books.